yeah so hello everyone so today we are going to look on how to perform a time series on gretel so gretel analytics is a time series quick software so it's a brilliant software in terms of doing the time series so let's have a look that how to use gretel to do a time series i will expl explain each and every variable so stay tuned and stay connected so first whatever you have to do that you have to just open the file just like i have the google data set so you can do upload your file on the gradle and gradle will ask you something that uh, do you want to agree treat the first column is just an ordinal data series so basically i will provide it yes and then gradle will ask me that uh, if i want to uh, give the data at time series interpretations or not so obviously uh, we are going to perform time series so you have to click on yes so as you can click on the yes then you can uh, set the structure of the data the structure of the data will be time series so after moving it to time series then you will just click forward and then there you can just go by others means just uh, moving on the numbers you don't need to worry about annually quarterly so just set others and then you can see that the starting observations has started so you just click on that so now you can see that we have total 119 observations so this is what we are wanting we are want we want from gretel so just click on apply and after you are click, clicking on apply you can see that the, my data is ready for time series so you can see that in the bottom of the gradle you can see the time series full range 1 to 119 so after loading the data and uh, frame it as a time series interpretations and then you just have to select your uh, dependent variable so basically uh, i have my i have my crude oil price data set so there i will simply uh, select the adjusted close price because i want to uh, forecast the uh, price of the crude oil so i will select on adjusted close so the first thing is whatever we have to do we need to do some dicky fuller test so you want to you can also plot it just like uh, this just uh, you can go there and you can click on view and with the view you can just uh, grab specify bar just uh, look here you have to click on view then graph specified bars and then time series plot as you click on time series plot they will ask you to select the variable just click on adjusted uh, close price i am clicking according to my variable you just uh, set that according to whatever the data you have got then just uh, bring it there in the right side and then click on ok as you will click, click ok the gretel will uh, provide you the chart uh, or the time series you can see that this is the pattern of the whole data we are uh, we have got so after looking at the data you have some uh, idea about how the data is uh, looking like so my data is looking like a multiplicative uh, data so now let's look on further process so go through the variable and there you will see that there is unit root test just click on augmented dicky fuller test and the lag you don't need to specify any lag some you need some youtube videos or you will find that you need to mention the lag you don't need to the, mention the lag gretel will automatically create the best lag for you then basically if you and one more rules is there the, if you are using the uh, monthly data then obviously provide the lag of 12 and if quarterly monthly then you uh, the yearly the data lags will be different so gradle will automatically set the lag then and if uh, it's the it's uh, showing you the lag which you are not confident with then definitely try to change it then just click on ok and after that you will get the p value here so we have the p value of 0 0.32 which means that the, we need to convert the data to stationary and 0 0.05 is our uh, range and we can see that the range is uh, uh, crossed and 3.22 and uh, 3.2 is very far from the range so we have to do it stationary so as 3. Uh, 0 0.32 is much 
more so just click on the right click on the adjusted close and add log just add the log we have done some logarithmic uh, transformation to make the data stationary and after that you will add difference i have added the difference now let's look on the adjusted adf means dicky fuller test so basically let's next uh, again click on the dicky fuller test and same process you can see that the p value is now less than 0.05 so now my p value is less than 0 0.05 so my data becomes stationary my variable becomes stationary after this now you have to model the data so for modeling go to model and then just go to unvariate time series and un within unvariate time series click on arima so basically we are doing here the arima model you need to uh, define here the specific values just like we have put the adjusted close uh, dependent variable and no need to put anything on the regressor side click and uh, adjusted the value here now how to set the value this is one important thing for that you need to just uh, right click on the uh, differentiate and the new adjusted close and then just look at the corelogram the corelogram will uh, obviously uh, just leave it by putting the default value and you can see that this is the corelogram we have got so uh, what is the ar and moving average value we will take we, we just have to look on the graph you can see that these are the ranges red lines and there are certain bars which have crossed the red lines we need to count that there's one and we have seen that the one is crossed and 2 is not, 3 is not, 4 is not, 5 is not, 6 has crossed and 7 has crossed else no uh, bars had crossed the range. So basically put the uh, AI uh, value and the PSEM value and we consider just like here 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and there is 6. So in that sense you need to create and uh, create as many models as possible just try to run the test and find out that what is, uh, which model will gives you the optimal result so let's uh, move to the model so here is our model and arima and uh, we taking the moving average of 2 and we are also taking that the uh, ar value is 2 then just click on ok and as you are clicking on ok this is the result we have got we have our uh, aic and bic values so you can see that the AI, this value, say, uh, this value is 9 to 1, which is very high. So this model is not looking good, right? So whatever, and the uh, log likelihood is very less. So this model is very bad. So we need to tune that. So how to tune that? You just simply go to the uh, data and you just go to the model again and do the arima model again now they are just specific different different models and different different values on ar and ma and then click on ok based on the corelogram take some idea and then click on ok and as you got the minimum aic and bic value then your model becomes optimal so I am not uh, doing that because the video will become lengthy if I do such. So now let's look that after uh, finding the optimum model how to plot the graph. For plotting graph just click on graph and do the residual plots against time or against adjusted whatever you want to do. You can see that these are the regress time series regression residuals and after that you can also uh, put graph and you can put it against time so against time you can see that this is the time series regressions and now we the main part comes which is to forecast to forecast just click on analysis and there you can got the option of forecast just click on forecast and you have to set that how many observations you want to add so basically i want to add 25 more observations as my data set is 119 and i want to 25 more observations just click on ok and you can see that this is the set this is a uh, just keep it by default and just click on ok and you can see you will get the forecast so this is the forecast with this model this is the forecast which means that the adjusted close price will be dropped in next few observations 
So guys, this is the way how do you perform the time series analysis on Gradle. Try to find out the best model where the AIC and BIC values are as much less as possible. Then uh, put that model and uh, do the time series analysis uh, and forecast. Basically, you have already done the time series and then forecast the values. So this is all for today. Let's uh, meet you in next tutorial or next video.